Welcome to the channel guys, my name is Matt Garvey and we are here to not talk about making comics today. Yes, that's right, you heard me, we are actually not going to be talking about how to make comics today. We're going to take a very short break away from that because we need to discuss how we, that's you and I, can help save our comic book industry. Because if there's no industry to actually make our comics and sell them into, there is no point in us in actually making those comics. And how we can save this industry is helping our local comic shops. As I'm sure everyone who's watching is aware, we are all in the midst of COVID, and if you're in the UK, you know that we are in our third lockdown, which means all comic shops around the UK have had to close their doors for the third time in less than 12 months. And it is my belief that comic book shops are the lifeblood of this industry. So the question is, how can you help your local comic shop? Well, whether you're a comic creator or you know just a comic book fan, do you have a pull list at your local comic book shop? For those of you that don't know what a pull list is, is if you are a regular at a comic shop, you know, you might not be able to get down there on a weekly basis to collect the books that you know you want off on new comic book day every Wednesday. So what uh, comic shops do out of the kindness of their heart is if you give them a list of the books you buy on a regular basis because you're a regular customer, what they do is every week they will take those books, they will put them in a box for you. So you know when you go down there every you know two weeks or every month, every couple of months, you know, whenever you can fit in go into the shop, your comic are always going to be saved so it stops you from running the risk of you know if you're collecting a book that's a hot property and you know it sells out quite regularly it means you're not going to miss those key issues as and when they come and this is a great service that comic shops provide for us the customers you know because it gives us a better service but at the same time it puts their business at risk you know for an example you know say that a comic shop you know buys you know a hundred pounds worth of stock from the distributor and you know with their markup and their profit they, they're going to sell those comics for you know 200 pound which they don't because if you know anything about the profits and the market that comic shop actually get to make on comics it's actually really 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 small and it's actually shocking and i'm surprised a lot of comic shops are even able to keep their doors open you know so guys you're doing the lord's work thank you i'm supporting you as best i can by trying to do this video but for the sake of this analogy just say you know they buy them for 100 pound they sell them for 200 but say those comics all go into the pull list for their regular customers and those regular customers are not picking those books up that means that not only is the comic shop's profit tied up in those books, but also the comic shop's capital as well. And it means that you know they're going to have cash flow problems and they're not going to be able to pay their rent, they're not going to be able to pay their staff. So what I'm saying to you is, if you have a pull list with a comic shop, give them a call. You know, I know some that you know are doing curbside pickups if they're allowed. I know others that are doing mail order services where they're actually sending books out because you may think that you know you're not just picking up that. 20 pounds worth of books that you've had sitting there for a couple of weeks. But imagine how many customers are doing that. You know, if it's 10 customers or 20 customers or 100 customers, you know, that's that comic shop's cash flow. And that means, you know, it's the difference between them keeping their doors open and shutting up shop. And we don't want that. On the other hand, you might not be able to afford to pick up your pool list at the moment because in the current climate, you know, some of us are out of work, that kind of thing. If that is the case, let your comic book shop know as well because you know these shops are run by human beings and we love them you know if you can't afford it let them know they will appreciate you putting a call in and saying look i'm out of work at the moment i can't afford my pool list you know they might be able to come up with a plan for you You know they might be able to freeze your pool list so they're not putting more and more comics away every week for you and tying up more of their capital for you on the other hand they might be able to release some of the books that are in there because they might be key books that other people need that they can sell to you know try and recoup back some of their costs so so we really need to rally around our comic shops at the moment because you'd be surprised how many people start pull lists with their local shops and you know it goes well off for the first couple of months you know the customers come in regularly you know and pick up their books but then suddenly you know some of these customers they completely disappear into thin air and go to the comic shop without letting the shop know that they have no intention of picking up these books especially in the current climate as well and you know the comic shop doesn't know this and they're putting their books away for them every single week you know trying to provide that really good service you know tying up thousands of pounds worth of stock and profits for them you know and it's never going to get taken care of so if you do have a pull list you know you may think you're just not picking up you know 20 pounds worth of books this week but you know if they've got a hundred customers that do that you know that's two thousand pounds you know that could be the difference of them being able to pay their staff or pay their rent or pay their actual bills so if you do have a pull list please 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 go and pick it up or have it sent out to you because we want our comic shops to survive this pandemic because they are the lifeblood of the industry. Okay, so a little message to all the local comic shops out there that may be watching this. You know, help us help you in this current situation as well and let's see if we can help generate some extra cash during this difficult time. If you guys have got some key issues, you know, or some wall books or, you know, like a full set of a mini series that in regular times would, you know, just fly out the door but because you're on lockdown, you know, you can't have customers coming into the building, you know, do me a favor, 
take some photos of those books, you know, stick them up on Twitter, you know, put what you've got, how much you want for them, you know, and what condition they are, and also whereabouts you are in the world. And if you use the hashtag Comic Shop 2021, that's Comic Shop 2021, what I will do is I will retweet that for you and we'll see if we can find these comics a new hunt and generate some income for you guys. And you know what? It doesn't have to be an amazing fantasy 15. You know, it could be like you've got like a copy of, you know, Batman's Willy or, you know, you've got a full set of, you know, Frank Miller's Ronin, something like that, you know. Just take some photos, tweet at me and we'll see if we can generate some revenue, guys. Because this does actually work. You know, one of my favourite comic shops, you know, Chaos City and St Albans, you know, did this during the first lockdown, you know. And because they were taking pictures of the comics they had in stock, you know, I picked up Daredevil number five. You know, the first appearance of the Matador, the greatest villain you've never, ever heard of. But it's a great book and it's now mine and I only saw it because I saw it on Twitter. I know I don't have the biggest following on Twitter, but I've got just under 4,000 followers, but my average tweets, you know, they get about, you know, 1,500 impressions. So, you know, that's 1,500 people seeing the stock that you've got. And if other people retweet them as well, hopefully we can find some of these books, some new hopes, and generate some income for you guys out there during this difficult time. So hopefully that will help. Use the hashtag ComicShop2021 and let's see if we can make you some money. And that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, you know, this is going to help some people out. We'll be back to our regular programming next week. And in the meantime, please stay safe and I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.